Welcome to Apathetic Weekend Update. I'm your host, guy who uses Movember basically as an excuse not to buy a new razor. Our top story tonight. On Friday, the U.S. confirmed it had killed the leader of ISIS in Libya. Unfortunately for us, with Sith, there's always two. 33 more days till Star Wars. Yeah, it was inappropriate. Moving on, this week an abstinence-only high school in Texas announced it was seeing a rampant spread of chlamydia among its students. Meaning, and I think we all knew this, uh, that abstinence causes chlamydia. So start fucking teens. In stickier news, on Tuesday, Pornhub announced a 10% decrease in activity due to the release of the video game Fallout 4. Which makes sense, because they both deal with surviving in a wasteland after a rather large explosion. After 60 days on the run, a rogue emu was finally caught in Delaware. In related news, Delaware plans on releasing the bird, just so they have something to do in Delaware again. On Tuesday, studies were released showing that people who give up Facebook lead happier lives. However, they're also way more likely to fall for real-life clickbait. You know what's crazy? If someone's Asian, they could technically also be Russian. This week, Starbucks unveiled its new non-denominational holiday cup to a negligible amount of public backlash, an even larger amount of backlash to the backlash, and an enormous amount of backlash to the backlash to the backlash. Joining us to discuss is returning correspondent Leland Harper. What did I tell you about doing this while I'm working? And bad bitch who likes basic bitch things, Carly Harrison. Hey, and... Just for the record, I literally can even, I just don't like to. All right, let's start with you, Leland. Uh, how not a story is this? It's about as much a story as gluten is a real allergy. Well, I, I don't think it's fair to. If this story were a celebrity, it'd be Ryan Seacrest. All right, uh, and Carly, what's your take on all this? I wish it would just go away. A lot more people are noticing me drinking Starbucks, and it's just like, I like Starbucks, but Starbucks is not me, you know? Uh, yeah. Sure it isn't. What do you know? You're so basic, you probably think Alt Rock's like a cereal or something. Are you kidding me? I'm so far from basic, my gag reflex is triggered by Adele. You guys, uh... Denying you're a basic bitch? That's pretty basic. Oh yeah? Well, let me ask you this. What you think of Marilyn Monroe and Carrie Bradshaw? Are they not the same person? Go suck a pumpkin spice dick. Can we just keep this? You mean the look you always seem to be going for in your Snapchats? <sighs> Hey, you guys know the story isn't that people are upset Starbucks made their cups more basic, it's that they made them less Christmas, right? This is about Christian shit? That's so basic. For real? That's the whitest, most basic shit I've ever heard. Leland Harper and Carly Harrison, everybody. This week, SeaWorld announced that it was permanently ending its killer whale shows. Meaning now, to earn tasty fish, orcas have to resort to working in iPhone factories. Happy now, activists? On Monday, members of the media were forced to use the password Stop Hillary to access Wi-Fi at the Republican debate, which sounds ridiculous until you see the name of their Wi-Fi. Following suit, the Democrats changed their Wi-Fi password to remind the media of their greatest threat. This week, actor slash potential name of a Korean barbecue dish, Shia LaBeouf, spent 72 hours marathoning his own movies, making him likely the first person to almost get his value out of a large refillable popcorn. Indonesia this week announced that it plans to build a prisoner island surrounded by crocodiles because unlike humans, crocodiles can't be bribed. Well, maybe not with money. Other well, prisoners, on the other hand. This week, a Google driverless car was pulled over for doing 10 miles under the speed limit. Classic police, always going for the minorities on the road. Uh, but was let go after the officer asked the car for its license and registration, and it responded with the officer's license and registration, children's names, hopes and dreams, and internet browser history. Oh, shit. Ah, you can taste the heathen. And that's it for your apathetic weekend update. Uh, if you could only use a time machine once and wouldn't use it to stop yourself from watching this video, 
please like, comment below, share, maybe even subscribe. Uh, yeah, I've been your host, guy who loosens and tightens the same tie over and over so he doesn't have to learn how to do it up again. Good night. Et pour France.